Well guys, so for your viewing pleasure, I have today a antique plum or plum. It seems to be, uh, there's a lot of different pronunciations for this brand of ratchet, tool company I should say. But this thing actually still does function. But it needs to be restored and cleaned up. But thankfully, the action still does work, but it is very greasy and grimy. So what we need to do is take this thing apart and I'm going to clean up all the insides and clean up the ratchet handle part, my uh, bench grinder, which has a wire wheel brush on it. Had to get a larger Phillips, but it looks like we just pull out these two screws and they are coming out surprisingly easy. Wow. Yeah, this thing definitely needs to be rebuilt. But the spring the but the springs still seem to be in working condition, so I'm not going to think too much about that, but the gear looks okay. So that'll clean up nicely. Same with this. So I'm going to move these two pins out of here. There is a lot of dirty, nasty grease or something that's in here. It looks like, unfortunately, the switch is pressed on there or welded on there, tack welded. So it's not really in my best interest to remove this. So to clean these up, we'll use my trash picked Baldor bench grinder, which I stuck a wire wheel brush on. And we'll clean up the handle as well. First, we'll carefully clean this, these smaller parts up. Now there's quite a bit of cleaning we have to do inside, but the outside of it cleaned up pretty good. I might give it an actual polish job after this, but we'll see what happens. And so with a small bristle brush, I actually cleaned it out pretty well. That's all I used. Took all that surface rust off that was on the inside. Cleaned it up quite a bit, so I'm probably going to polish this up still with the other bench grinder. But I may or may not show that. I might show the end result if I choose to go that route or not. But we're pretty much at the point where we can start putting this thing back together. And keep in mind, you're working with tiny, small parts, which can kind of be pretty irritating. But you just want to stick both of the paws back in, exactly like this. with the notch corners facing down. And we're going to have to very carefully put the springs in. Probably do this either way, but for my purposes, this should be fine. And so I just moved the little lever the other way. And this will give us clearance to stick this other spring in. And with that out of the way, let's stick our cog back in. And it actions as it should. Now, a grease that you want to use on really any ratchet like it is called super lube, but in a pinch, this stuff will do. Really, any lightweight oil should be okay, but you're not going to need a lot of it because, you know, 
quite a bit of it's just probably going to leak out if you use too much. But I'm just going to put a few spots here and there. And then we'll throw our cover back on. That sounds a lot better. I'm sure those springs are fairly tired. And if I can source an actual rebuild kit for this thing, I probably will. But that sounds really good. Let's get a socket on it. What I like about these older ratchets and even the snap-on ones I have at work is they're not quick release. Personally, I don't really care for quick release all that much. I liked it at first, but I like the uh, I like not having the lock on it. Man, that sounds really good. This is a 24 tooth ratchet. Sure have come a long way, haven't we? Still works pretty good though. So here's more or less the end result. Came out pretty good. Now I did allude to a little bit earlier in this video about finding a rebuild kit for it and surprisingly you can because apparently these this brand of tool is, was either a part of or became Stanley Proto. Because you can find a brand new rebuild kit for them without issue. And even more interesting, it looks like the selector can come off. I didn't try and force mine, but it looks like it does in fact come off. So that's really cool that they still make the rebuild kits for these. And the better part is it's at a decent price, 14 bucks. So we'll have to see what happens with that. It is still functioning just fine, but like I said, I think those springs are a little tired. But works for me. I'm happy with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You all stay classy.